see <coughs> here I'll explain you how to find exponent of prime p that's uh, where p is a prime number uh, in an factorial in fact <coughs> it means that the how many times p is present in n factorial how many factors of p are present in n factorial so we are calling that as exponent of prime p or power of prime p p to the power if it is uh, r we need to find r is the number of times in which p is present in n factorial so we have to find the value of r now uh, the method is given here in the theory so before going through the method i'll prefer to explain you with an example suppose let's take the example which is illustration 3 see in this question we have to find exponent of 2 in 50 factorial so n is 50 and p is 2 <coughs> prime number is 2 right so we have <coughs> given number equals to 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 goes on up to 50 so f uh, some multiplication of consecutive numbers so what first of all what we do we need to find the last number last number having 2 is a factor having 2 as a factor and to find that we use this approach <coughs> we uh, divide the last number 50 with 2 right and we take greatest integer of that multiply with 2 now this will give us the last number which contain 2 as a factor so it is like dividing 50 by 2 <coughs> taking greatest integer means taking the quotient of that and when you multiply quotient with this so we get the last term that is divisible by 2 right suppose suppose had it been 49 49 divided by 2 would have been um, 24.5 so 49 is doesn't contain a factor 2 if you take greatest integer of it it is 24 24 contains a factor of 2 right and you multiply with 2 means the term 48 has a large greatest term which has a factor 2 <coughs> In 49, 48 is the term. So in this case, 50 is the last term which can contains a factor 2. And if you generalize this, it is uh, we are dividing n by p, taking greatest integer of that and multiplying with p. So this is a term which has factor 2. All the terms beyond that, on right of that, have no, uh, I don't have a factor 2. But in this case, this is the last term. So and and number of times 2 is present here is n by p times. 50 by 25 times 25 into 2 so 25 times 2 is present in this term right 20 uh, 25 into 2 right so uh, this 25 the significance of 25 or significance of n by p greatest integer is number of times 2 is there why because <coughs> it is 25th occurrence of 2 in the product if 25 into 2 is there before that we'll have a term 24 into 2 because some pr product of consecutive numbers so 24 into 2 will be there, 23 into 2 will be there. So these are the terms which are contributing into 22 into 2 goes on till the last term that is 1 into 2. So these are the terms which contribute, which are contributing into and, and we have 25 twos. So we take 2 to the power 25 out and remaining terms the is the is the uh, the is like 1 when I 2 take 2 common 1 will remain here and 2 will remain in the second term goes on. And the last term would be you can see last term would be <coughs> Um, p <coughs> n by p the decimal integer that is 25 in this case it is 25 and now what is this 25 25 we already seen that 25 is n by p so it's the last occurrence of 2 or it's the greatest uh, is the number of times 2 is present so if we take p common from all left over is n by p like 25 or in or in general it is n by p so if i write the general expression here it is <coughs> 1 into 2 into 3 goes on till n by p now we have to do the we have to repeat the same process again we divide 25 by 2 take greatest integer multiply with 2 this will give us the last term having 2 as a factor having 2 as a factor so it is coming out to be 12 into 2 24 so 24 which we write as 12 into 2 is a term which has 2 as a factor and then if 24 12 into 2 is there so 11 into 2 is there so in generalize what we have done is n by p divide by p greatest integer into p this is the last term <coughs> in which p factor is there and this is the number of times in which 
2 is there t is there number of times there why because 12 times this is n by 50 by 2 by 2 greatest integer that is 12 this much number of times 2 is there because if I told you earlier also if this term has 2 then this term will also have 2 this term will also be there 10 into 2 2 will also be there 9 into 2 will al also be there so what we will get is we will get 12 uh, outside 2 to the power 25 into 2 to the power 12 multiplied with 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 till last term that is n by p square greatest integer in general and specifically it is 12 in this case it is 12 in this case now we again we repeat the same process we repeat the same process we divide 12 by 2 take greatest integer into 2 is the term the great last term having 2 as a factor comes out to the 12 12 it is coming out to be 12 so we write uh, we write it like this 6 into 2 to see the the greatest number of times 2 is present 6 number of times 2 is present in the whole product so because if 6 into 2 is there 5 into 2 is there 4 into 2 would definitely be there goes on till 1 into 2 so 2 is coming 6 times so outside we have 2 to the power 25 2 to the power 12 2 to the power 6 and leftover is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 goes on till n by p cube greatest integer right and in this case it is 6 